Hello and welcome to the Cat Collective. I'm Nina. I'm the channel for this channel. And let's start. Whoa. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm the artist. And Rebel. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um... Some more cards. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> what I'm getting is um, that. Uh, you are ready to be a rebel and to be the artist of your life and um, to ball it all up because um, before before you were not happy and um, I think you you moved a lot of meta and you are sitting in the middle of chaos but you came to the conclusion that you need to you need to cause a tower moment for yourself. You, you know when you sit in a in a sorrowful place for too long and um, maybe with having the illusion that um, you cannot really change something, right? Um, because you, you felt stuck, so you didn't see a way out. Um, but um, it's, it's just a perception, right? It's this... Uh, manipulation of the of the grid of the matrix right and it's okay you know whenever i see him in his uh suit uh, with his tie on i'm like yeah of course um you know um the set of clothing um might not fit who you really are anymore maybe you have dressed quite well previously like you know well in this um you know overall accepted thing and <clears throat> um now you've changed you have you know this the situation that you were stuck in for so long and unhappy in has changed you um to the point where you were so miserable about everything that you just snapped and you, I think you, um, so if you, are, if you are still in this place, because I'm getting that you might still uh, be in a situation where you are not happy in, and maybe you are looking up people who are actually rebels, artists, free spirits, right? Um, not confined by, by everything around, um, and you haven't found yourself you know this is the this is the ref reflection of um who you um that you don't know who you are and that you you know everything you do doesn't seem to work it's not making you happy but moving matter that's what i'm getting um preparing for a big change um maybe you are decluttering a lot um this helps you to discover that you don't need to wear those. You don't need to put the tie on yourself and the nice, um, nice clothing. You know, that's what I, you. That's that's what I get. I'm getting because of this rebel card. Look, she's got blue hair, and she, I think you know this looks like she painted on her own, own clothes and. Um, kind of animal is this? This is a wasp? I don't know. This looks like a mixture because there's this blue uh, green gem there. You know, so it looks like a very psychic um, development for you. It's a it's this overall um, <clears throat> okay, do you know, you know what? This straightforward way that you know, it's this uh, clean and tidy way of doing things. This um, 
linear way, right? Those clothes, they always remind me of that because I, whenever I, I see those, I think about ironing clothes, <laughs> you know? And <laughs> it's like <sighs> so much work and for for just wearing it a few times when you can just put them all in a in a big box that they used to, to uh, use in a um, my mom's getting this um, you know when you are on sea the, they have those uh, sea suitcases made of I, I don't know what's um, of wood or something you know you can you know like a treasure treasure chest that where you just throw them all in without even folding the clothes and just pulling out something right so it's a bit it's a very natural way, you know, because of the of the flower and the nature in the background. I'm getting this going back to to nature, going back to um, your fluid uh, self, and you are now in the preparation stages or this where you snapped basically, right? And um, because this way didn't do it for you. You know, electronics, online. No, you know, life is lived offline, right? And staring into a box is just not it. <laughs> um, and maybe the box helped you. You know, I'm getting this, you know, your phone or something that you saw online or discovered or whatnot helped you in a way also during times and i don't think that you are, will leave it complete behind completely it's just that you are doing it in a different way and you're really causing this tower moment but but the tower moment you know i'm um, seeing you wrapping up your whole existence giving away all this stuff right one might think that you are sad about it right but suddenly the sadness that you had in this box that you were in with a tie on disappears because you are lightening your load you're lightening your load lightening light lighting light, light, yeah you know what i mean and it's this you know what she's holding in her hand it's um a creation that cannot you know it's almost this moment in time where you are so in the moment that you also don't want to capture the moment because you know capturing a moment for example with a camera would destroy it right and uh, your creation changes to a point where you are creating more it's again a beginning, but it's also a beginning of a creation that is um, primarily worked on without a device. It's this starting all over again, you know, maybe you've done several things for times and it never really sparked your joy and um, it never, you know, maybe you thought at some point, oh, that's my purpose, I'm going to do this, or that's what I'm going to do. And it never really um, lasted. It only, you know, the excitement um, never really lasted. And you are now uh, realizing that, and you are now ready <laughs> to um, lose it all to gain it all. I hope you I hope that makes sense for some of you that's what I'm getting it's this rebel yeah you're doing it a different way and um, yeah it brings it brings um, it brings you more clarity but it also you know the the material goods that we have they also reflect a bit um, <clears throat> of who we are you know it starts with the clothes and the hair even even though that's like not really material but if you color your hair in a different color and you know if you change your haircut the world perceives you differently she would look totally different with blonde hair 
right? And a different dress. You would totally perceive her in a different way. <clears throat> and you realize that, you know, that you are the artist of yourself. So you have to, um, or you, you are about to find your way to create yourself, you know, and it's a big rebirth and it's a rebellion also. Um, but from a perspective that is not as much as I would associate a rebel, because a real rebel, what I think about when I think about this is it's more like a, against being against things and stuff like that. You know, it's this rebel. It's always uh, I'm against this. But what you need to do <clears throat> in this case is with this, it's you need to embrace the things you are for and not against, you know, a rebel um focuses more on the things the rebel doesn't want but you you realized you need to focus or you re you are realizing now maybe you need to focus on the things you do want right and um from this point create start creating right and this will unlock the the cage you were in So let's see. Oh, if you want to come out like that, okay. Well, I can do that <clears throat> with all of you. Look at that. Okay. No um, re reversals here, usually. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, look. Um, you know, a fool. A fool's journey. That's the beginning point. It's the zero point. And you are creating your own zero point again, right? You've done it before. I think, yeah, you've done it before. Maybe that's why why you are now not staying in a situation for way longer. You know, I think previous to that, you have had a zero point like this before that you created, but it took you much more to uh, detach from the things that don't serve you anymore. But now... You have already, you know, when I see this, <clears throat> I'm um, reminded of the, f the fool as a wise fool, you know. It's almost a wisdom of the kid. It's this, um, you know that you don't um, feel happy if you don't change something or you know that if you feel like this that there needs to be a change that needs to occur right and um it's what i'm getting with this you know you are um you think about your this is almost a today this is almost a comfort zone right you think about your comfort zone but you're like no i'm uncomfortable in my comfort zone how can that be you know how can that be that I'm uncomfortable in my, un in my comfort zone? That's not what I wanted to create, right? And therefore, um, yeah, you got to step out of it. But what you realize, you know, a comfort zone is for me, today is a very established way of thing it, things. It's this, um, yeah, like this almost. If you look at that, you know, you've gathered your... Um, stuff around you and you're sitting there stuck on your table <clears throat> and it's very a fixed way of doing things and um so i'm not going by the traditional meanings i'm just uh, reading the images and if you see that if you spill out the cups and you hold on to the one that is behind you that you maybe didn't um engage with for too much because you because of doubt because of fear because of feeling stuck in your own in your own way and five is a number of change and <clears throat> for me today you know this looks like 
this cat could be sad about this, but the cat is not sad. The cat is actually happy and uh, it's just has knocked the, the, the cups over and is looking at, at them and is looking at the way um, the water flows or the, the liquid, you know, this flowing of life. And you realize you know, when you are too stuck and too uh, protective of all your belongings that um, it weighs you down so much that I'm getting, you know, when a long-haired cat like that lays too long in bed, right? It develops uh, dreads in a way, right? And um, if you ever had dreads, um, like accidental ones maybe even, um, they hurt. You know, there are some parts of the... of the. Um, it's just, it hurts. And um, I don't think that this particular cat wants to have dreads, though. It's just this um, comfort zone dread thing that I'm getting, you know? It's this, uh, you're laying too long. Or even if you lay too long in bed, maybe your back hurts or something like that, you know? It's this... Yeah, and um, you've seen the, the transformation but of Butterfly and you are now um, embracing it. And even though you are still at the edge of the cliff and not haven't you have not jumped fully yet um you also there's also a sense of responsibility still um within you which is good i mean you, you cannot just mindlessly go after the butterfly otherwise you know, you never know how you end up like this right but um it's this exploring um, of things and um, suddenly this transforms also the holding on to the last thing even transforms a bit to also being ready to knock this one over because you're watching this and it looks so nice I think this cat is just mesmerized by the way the water flows out of the or the liquids flow out of the cups and maybe the cat hasn't perceived how freeing it is to watch when the the liquids hit the soil and how you know when it sinks in just watching it it's nice right it's the flow of life and um you know you you are freeing up yourself to also have more options that's what i'm getting um and it's special special moment for you for sure um, also being ready to knock everything over that is in your way you know everything even if it might hurt you know in the beginning because you know sometimes when you let go of things that you very very much loved it hurts a lot but um, you are looking for the truth you are not looking for comfort you are looking for the truth and therefore you have to do things that might hurt but always from a loving perspective you know it's not this rebellion what i'm seeing here right it's not this aggressive rebel that i would get because also look at her i mean she doesn't look, really look like a you know a rebel <laughs> you know all the way i i think you you get what i mean so yeah i love that love that so you are well on your way <clears throat> and um, let's see if there's one last card that I can pick for you oh, spirit picks it I'm not picking the cards let's see held <laughs> um, yeah it's just being held by the universe you know the infinity symbol but when you when you take a rubber band and you twist it to a, in, an infinity symbol, you can also untie it and untwist it and then it becomes a circle just, right? And there's still, you are still there, right? And you know, there's a, if you can see it, there's an infinity symbol with uh, just some uh, loose lines 
on there, right? And it's this, <clears throat> this energy is very loose and trustful. Yeah, you can trust that the universe um, provides and therefore you don't need to uh, hold on to your belongings <laughs> and again there's a big uh, there's a bird holding a branch and it's way too big for the bird i hope i can can i there's the bird oh no okay oh, i wanted to show you how the how the bird was flying with this big branch <laughs> like a dog you know with a way too big ski, uh, stick and it creates so much pressure and when you just let go of all of it and also of the attachments and that's what's the hurtful part it says okay i don't i'm not attached to it anymore you know i'm twisted a bit and then you can twist it again and it's creating the infinity symbol so yeah that's loving yeah and you are still there <laughs> and uh, a lot of other colors will be added just by freeing yourself up yeah um so let's see what this reading was for Pisces, okay, fish, uh, there we go. <laughs> um, I hope you uh, enjoyed the reading and uh, also your chaos. <laughs> um, yeah, and um, additional info is in the litter box below. And see you next time. Bye bye. bye, bye.